The house of God is not a building. God lives in us if we have become a children of God. We read in Hebrews chapter 3 verse 6, But Christ was faithful as a son over his house, whose house we are, if we hold fast our confidence and the boast of our hope firmly until the end. If we have become born again, and the Spirit of God dwells in us, then we are the house of God. Jesus said, I read from John chapter 14 verse 23, If anyone loves me, he will keep my word, and my Father will love him, and we will come to him and make our abode with him. He will come and live in us, we become the house of God. God gives His Holy Spirit inside of those who are born again, who are truly born again, and who have accepted Jesus, who have accepted the gift of the Holy Spirit that He promised to those who love Him and who obey Him. God gives them a tongue by which they communicate directly with God. We read in 1 Corinthians chapter 14, verse 2, For he who speaks in a tongue does not speak to men, but to God. For no one understands, but in his spirit he speaks mysteries. Because he has become the house of God. Have you become the house of God? Does the Spirit of God dwell in you? And has He given you a spiritual tongue by which you communicate with the Father, that you have become one with the Father? Those who are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. Are you the house of God? May Jesus bless you.